Have you ever wondered what would happen if a whole city were infused with well-being? Chris Peterson, who was my advisor, talked about natural homes for positive psychology. It's the vision of Maroondah, Australia, in the state of Victoria, to personify those homes. Edwina Rickey, who you, oops, we skipped one. We did. There, okay. Edwina Rickey, who you see pictured here with me, um, had seen me talking about strengths. Uh, would I come to Australia, she wondered. Several hours and many stories later, we put our strengths together to work on a common vision for flourishing communities. Maroondah's official 2040 vision is to be Australia's city of well-being. To reach this goal, we started by reverse engineering. We have identified homes or sectors where positive psychology is already happening. Homes such as businesses, football clubs, schools, media outlets, community and religious groups already provide sustainable well-being programs right in this community. Once they um, once they hear about positive psychology, they're eager for research-based tools and connections. We benefit from data that's already being collected by Community Indicators Victoria. They have a vast array of stats online and provide a valuable baseline for well-being measures across many of our sectors. In June, my daughter Meg and I traveled to Australia to meet with Edwina and her team. We saw firsthand there the keenness for sharing and developing well-being. Even mall stores proudly offer happiness workshops. In early July, over 100 enthusiastic leaders from each of the sectors attended the official City of Wellbeing kickoff. Follow-up events have included local, state, and federal level policymakers. Maroondah itself is a mix of homes and services and open spaces to enjoy population includes the largest community of Burmese residents outside of Myanmar. Many of them arrived there as refugees and they have found that the community is very welcoming. In Maroondah, other people matter. The Babes Project offers free support to teen mothers. The Rotary Club sponsors Eradicate Loneliness. The Heal Clinic, H-E-A-L, offers free massage, chiropractic, and hair washing to the homeless people who might, might otherwise never be touched. Giving his living honors a homeless man who put his only money into the tip jar of a local pizza shop. Through Wayne's gift, Greg, the pizza shop owner, has given 10,000 pizza vouchers sold by local organizations for $5 each. This has raised $50,000 for the community. Australian football and netball teams together comprise over 100,000 players. They've embraced positive sports coaching. Sports chaplains are eager for more training to begin shifting their role from critical incident management to preventative positive mental health. United Youth Media is secondary students. Their interviewers, reporters, and videographers have traveled to major sporting events across Oceania, bringing positive media messages to connect youth across Earth's widest expanses of water. Each island nation you see on the left of the screen here no matter how poor or how remote, has a link to the rest of Oceania through sport. High profile supporters include the Oceania National Olympic Committee, the Oceania Australia Foundation, and Fox Sports Pulse. At the recent Micronesian Games, United Youth Media captured stories of athlete grit and resilience. They delivered eight workshops to over 700 participants from 20 different countries, focusing on positive media and communications. The Bank of Melbourne has provided positive piggy and footy banks to community schools. Here you see students both depositing and investing in positivity, strength, and gratitude. Many local organizations have partnered to help schools develop as sustainable natural homes for positive psychology. Geelong Grammar School has offered Maroondah and its schools its course Designing Positive Education. Well-being is a national priority across Australia and Oceania. Local council, state, and federal government policymakers support the project. They've even asked for a to-do list from Edwina to expedite their progress. In the past year, I've been busy with my work in positive psychology homes that you see here. You'll see CAP is one of them. I've also started my next book, and importantly, Edwina, Ricky, and I have developed the Plus 10 Life concept for the City of Wellbeing and its global partners. Plus 10 Life is a low-cost, high-impact, sustainable approach that illuminates positive psychology strengths within existing natural homes. 
It celebrates what is working and connects those strengths and the people to a vision that's supported by partnering organizations. Plus 10 Life products are designed on the Pause Edge framework, a practical set of research-based interventions rooted in PERMA-V theory. Contact me in the pop-up box on my website, and as you can imagine, I'm a championship Skyper by now. Oh, well done, Sherry. Okay, five minutes. Questions? Yeah, Sandy. Yeah. came it into something that was already in existence. How did they get started for you? It actually wasn't like this. It was a whole lot of separate little dots. And uh, I was called in because Edwina had seen me talk about strengths, and she just wanted to talk about strengths. And she said, how much does it cost to bring you to Australia to talk to us about strengths? And I said to her, let's have a different conversation. Um, I just want to know what you're doing. And she told me about many things she was doing, many, many, many. And I said to her, you know, I think we need to talk some more. And about three hours later, we were on to the next step. And I said, we, we need to find a way to connect all these dots. And if we can do that, we will have something that has never happened before. And that is we will take where uh, positive psychology is already happening. We will help people see that they are already doing it. We'll make them excited that they're already doing something really wonderful. And then we will have created homes and, and ground that we can start planting seeds in. Instead of trying to go and show people what we do is really great, because it, we did it, so it's great. Instead, we say, what you're doing is great, and let me connect you with somebody else who's also doing it. Uh, a little bit at a time, Edwina figured out that she had lots of contacts that she was not leveraging in the way that she could, and I'm the positive psychology person on board with this project. Um, just yesterday, I heard from Barbara Kendall, who is the on the rings, you see the five rings for the Olympics. Um, I met her when I was in Australia. She lives in um, uh, New Zealand, and she is a three-time medalist she would like to have this content be part of what uh, retiring Olympians use as they move forward in sport. And then they will also be part of this and will be able to go to those islands all over Oceania and share what they are doing and uh, bringing not just strengths, but all the other aspects of positive psychology into the world. Awesome. Yeah, at the back. Congratulations. Thank you, Caroline. Yeah. The handbag has been found. Woohoo! <laughs> Any other last questions for Sherry? Yes. Uh, what's, next? what's next, Sherry? Oh. What's next? <laughs> I think uh, realistically, what is next is that there will now be lots and lots of work for people who have a positive psychology background because now that these homes have been um, exposed in the best possible way, more people who have more training than just the local people will need to be able to collaborate with them. So the opportunity for collaboration, I think, is just enormous. And that's what I would really hope for. When I, uh, I mentioned that something about the, you know, the Australia Project, which I haven't really been able to explain to anybody, uh, in great detail until really now. One of the things I explained was that I hope that we could create work for every person in positive psychology by um, really expanding the way we think about wh what positive psychology is and, and who does it. Cool. Thank you so much, Eric.